Today we are talking about sequential PSA grading. Now if you guys aren't familiar with the channel, you know I like grading my cards. And what I haven't really dabbled with is trying to get sequential sets. We're going to take a look at how much money you can make doing some of these sets. They do demand a premium on the market. We're just going to dive straight into it. This picture, These pictures are not the best on this first listing. But you can see this price. This was the sale price uh, crossed out, so it was less than that. So I'm going to assume, you know, a thousand or nine hundred. But we got the uh, four golds from Crown Zenith in the sequential tens. So p people, you know, I don't know exactly why. I mean, I do think it's cool. But I don't know if I would pay the premium, but you know, a thousand dollars for these set of cards. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of cool. It's kind of crazy. All right, next up. These are another set of sequentials that you can, you know, try and do yourself. The uh, three legendary dogs here. We got Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. This one just sold for 400. They do demand, um, these cards shot up and then they kind of came down in a 10, but they're still, you can get a premium out of out of getting the, the sequential. People will pay for it. Next up, we got the, uh, the this, this is a sold listing, yeah. 575 for uh for the champions path shining fates darkness to blaze the same zard you got the the different versions here sequential 575 okay now something you guys need to also consider is that uh these you don't have to do just because these are the examples i'm giving doesn't mean that there's not more uh, to be had out there right there's a lot more that can be done and people will pay it's 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 that simple. Here's a big one, right? We got the the premium collection um, from the the boxes, the promos of the evolutions here, the originals, nine hundred crossed out. So uh, there there are websites where you can look up, you know, what these prices are going for. Uh, you know, I I just guesstimate. I'm assuming this was eight hundred, seven hundred at the lowest. I think it was more like eight, but yeah, we you can look that up and get the actual sold prices, but we're just checking eBay right now just to kind of give ourselves an idea of just a different kind of play, something to consider, right? All right, here's an old, older school play for you guys. You know, we got Rockets, uh, Charmander, and Dark Charmeleon here, first edition, sequential PSA 10s, 495 crossed out. So, you know, doesn't even have the, uh, doesn't even have to have the Charizard, doesn't even have to be the full the full thing right there, there's just so many that can be done all right now next up i thought this one was kind of interesting a little different this one's just all the brilliant stars charizards here and we got yeah all sequential from over from left to right 40 41 42 43 44 nine 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 crossed out so you know once again I think it's kind of cool. It's a premium. If you guys want to dabble with it, dabble with it. If you don't, stay away from it. But I'm just giving you guys an option, right? Here's another option. We got the the EV EV heroes. So Japanese now. You got to keep in mind that with some of these uh, Japanese cards are easier to grade. They usually have a higher print quality. They usually have less defects. So some of these plays in Japanese might be pretty easy, depending, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, this was sold for 440. They had uh, two, two of these sequential sets. This seller did. So, yeah, not bad. They're doing good. All right, next up we got another one. It, you can see here we got 39 and 40. This one went for bids and went for 710 um, for both of the Jolteons sequential tens. So, people like it. People like it. You can see up here. These aren't um, these aren't any of the ones that I have lined up, but you can see right here we got this is just another interesting one for you guys. Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Japanese, so easy to grade. The Master Balls, sequential. They're asking two forty, so interesting play there. All right, now this one I found interesting because if you guys know that these cards don't go for much in a ten, any of them, uh, especially in Japanese. But this set of nine, we got nine sequentials, 421. So just another play there for you guys. 
and it doesn't even have to be the Pokemon don't even have to be related. They can just be from from the same set. All right, next up we got the uh, the Unigaba um, evolutions. Now this one, 405 for nine, but they're not even all tens. We got a as you can see here, Vaporeon got a nine. So even if there is still some something to be said obviously if you get the 10 that's what you're aiming for but um just keep in mind that you know people might want the sequentials anyways even if there's a nine in there so keep that in mind all right next up um we got the the uh, celebrations here of the of uh the starters 400 crossed out so we don't know exactly what that went for but we got two six two seven two eight on there um you know, the Charizard is really the only expensive card out of these. The Venus Run Blasters are super cheap. So you can be picking that up and making making play like this. Um, I mean, you know, it it's something I might start dabbling with. Now check out this one. Check out this, guys. This is Japanese, 151. We got the starter evolution lines all the way through, starting with... 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, all the way to 104 with the Blastoise sold for $1,000. And you guys know that these cards, these Japanese cards individually, they don't go for that much. They don't, right? So the that's, that's the play. That's a play. So don't say that there aren't grading plays out there to be had. You guys haven't dabbled with sequentials all right here's another one that i found interesting well one of these cards is more expensive the moltres on its own is more expensive but this is another one you get the birds going you get the the galarian version of all the birds 80 81 82 700 bucks could be you guys you could be doing it once again i you know i'm not currently doing this but i'm looking into starting to do this so Keep that in mind, I'm not, I haven't been doing this. I'm not selling any sequential tens, so I'm not trying to pump up anything. I just, just kind of talking about a play that can be had. Now, even, this is even older stuff right here. Obviously, this is more rare. This is way older, right? But just wanted to, just, it, it can, it can happen with any, anything, right? I just wanted to throw in a little bit of variety, you know, for the video. But you got these uh, Top Sun from 95, you got the birds. Obviously, look at these cert numbers. These are in the twos, so these are old. But yeah, you got eight four eight five eight six. Cool cards. Look at the backs. <laughs> um, but yeah, some some collector is going to really appreciate these sequentials, and they paid fifteen hundred for them. Now, these cards in particular, I'm not really sure what these are going for individually. You know, I'm not really up to date on the top sun market. Sorry, <laughs> but. Uh, just a cool thing. I'm assuming that it, it took a premium uh, because of the sequential. So feel free to correct me in the comments if I was off on this. But um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you guys a, another grading play, something that you guys can be doing or looking into, right? Uh, there's a lot that can be done in 151. With There's a lot in 151 that we could be doing. English or Japanese that some people aren't even really still doing just think about it right it's not that hard put some evolution lines together you know put some there's artworks that go together right see what I'm saying uh, in different different sets it's just once you really start thinking about it the sequential game it's quite big so it's something I'm going to be dabbling with I just wanted to share it with you guys so because um, I, I try and be transparent uh, you know answer the questions be up, up forth with what i'm buying and everything like that so if i'm going to start doing sequentials or looking into it i'm going to tell you guys so um yeah that's it I'll catch you guys in the next one remember it was never a phase <laughs>